Welcome, the Word Chief of Light is back with another epic video. Hi, my name is Peepy, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peeps. Today, we are looking at a very rough relationship that I've had with gaming, and how Final Fantasy XIV healed that relationship. So, it's actually an interesting topic, and we're going to get into it real quickly. And this is one of those videos I'd like to see your guys' feedback. What loops do you get stuck in? What really constitutes a bad relationship with gaming? Let me know. My poor relationship with gaming really started when I started with MMOs, namely Warcraft. I started it on mat leave for a couple reasons. I mean, number one, I had a year off because I'm in Canada and that's what mat leave is. It's a really unique experience, an isolating experience to become a new parent very quickly and finally do you know how much they sleep like the first three months is eat poop sleep in small bursts all of them so i had a lot of downtime i had a lot of in between time and it wasn't very long time it was good time i'm sorry i did that either way for context that kid that i went on that leave for it will be 14 in december and I only stopped playing Warcraft about a year and a half ago, so played it a long time, I'm not gonna lie. In that time, I did develop some pretty bad habits. Now, the biggest one, by far, is FOMO, or fear of missing out. And it comes in ways that's interesting. Content from World of Warcraft comes out in bursts. So what that means is you could have no content for a while, all of a sudden new content, but now the old content is either A, irrelevant, or B, gone altogether, depending on if that was an expansion patch or not. So things can change quickly. So you're constantly dealing with the fear of missing out, especially raiding, which is what I did for the first long time. I admit that, long time. So if you weren't raiding the current raid, you were not up to date. If you weren't doing your dailies for reputation grinds, for enchants, gear pieces, whatever the case may be, you weren't on time. You would miss out. If you didn't have either gold or flasks or food, you were missing out. Did you do your dailies? Did you get the required power for the week? Did you do your emissaries? Did you do your something bored to make sure that you got the items that you needed, the augmented runes? It all became a chore very quickly to make sure that you could stick with the team. So basically, I did daily chores and weekly chores to make sure that I could be well equipped for the three to five hours of raiding two to three times a week that we did. Because that's common. That's a lot. It's a lot of gaming. So all of my spare time got gobbled up really quickly. I mean, you're not buying any new games. Why? When do you have time to play? I mean, if you do, fantastic. I did not. I would either purchase games and just have them sit in my Steam library, which is embarrassingly large. Especially the amount of unplayed I'm still going through that list to this day. Like, I started playing Dragon Age Origins on Twitch. And I know, that old of a game, I've never played it because I was too engrossed in other things. It becomes the center. You're day in, you're day out. You need to do it like you need to do the dishes. And I'm not going to lie, it's not because it's not fun. One of the things that I did enjoy about it was the fact that it was something away from the real world. It was a place where I could just do what I wanted to do and I wanted to raid, so that meant X, Y, plus Z, which was fine. It wasn't unenjoyable, but it still took every moment of my spare time. Even at the end, the last couple expansions, I hadn't rated because it was too much on my schedule as it was. And I tried to do just the dailies, weeklies, and maintain a, an altar to- and listen, I failed. I failed badly. I just- I didn't have that kind of time to give. Another thing that came around that took a lot of my attention, and this is actually a controversial subject, I understand, the token. I know it's the pay to win function of World of Warcraft, however I didn't pay for it, I did the opposite. 
I was the asshole that farmed the gold so I could pay for my Warcraft account. And like if I was nearing a holiday, like the new Call of Duty game, because my husband plays Call of Duty. See what I mean? So on top of my weekly dailies, I was then spending my Saturday, that was a Saturday tour, farming gold so I could pay for my account and anything I wanted at the store. The honest answer is I thought this was gaming. I thought this was good gaming. A game that can consume you to that extent must be good. This must be the pinnacle. Y'all know where this is going. And then I played Final Fantasy XIV. The MSQ is fucking incredible. I mean, incre- For many, many reasons. I could make 10 videos on just the MSQ and why it's so good. But for this video, we're talking about why it's good today. Because it kills the fear of missing out completely. Dead in the water. Why? Because when you play it for the first time, everything that's happening, whether it's old content, whatever, is new to you. You don't miss anything. Any story beat that's ever happened, any character you have met, any random turn of events, and there are lots. Lots. You miss none of it. Not a damn thing. You experience it like it's the first time because there is nothing telling you that this is old content other than the fact that you know there's more coming. That's it. For World of Warcraft, going through the old expansions, you cannot get that initial story rush. You can't go through it, like, at all in this manner. You have no idea who these characters are if you were to start today and not know. You kinda gotta tag along and maybe figure it out? Now because of this, you can play it today. You can play it tomorrow. Play it next week, maybe in a month from now. Whenever you are actually ready to play it, the game will not be better or worse because of the day you chose to play it. Which is, again, a concept that shouldn't be difficult, but to me it was like, what do you mean I don't have to rush to the end? What? But I want a raid. Cool, the raid will be there. It'll be there. And let's say you get there and you wanted to do a previous raid because that looks fun. Awesome, go do it. Well, I have gear and I'm out leveled. Okay, they have a synced system. You want to do it like it was? Great, sync it. <sighs> so it's literally like the first time. Now, another thing that sh didn't shock me is how much there is to do in the game, which is very typical for MMOs. Listen, these are online games. They keep getting updated. There's a million things you can do at any given moment. Do you want a new class? Great, level one. Do you want to do some gathering, some exploring? Go ahead, there's maps, there's treasure maps. Do you want to do some epic PvP? Go ahead. It, PvP doesn't change, no matter what you end up in an expansion. Do you want to raid? Old raids, new raids. Do you want the difficult content? Yeah. Yeah, there's all of that at any given moment. And again, none of it is urgent. None of it requires you to rush to get it. None of that content at all requires you to do it today. The next thing is dailies. There are dailies. There absolutely are. None of them are required. Do you want a cool mount? Do you want cool gear? Do you want stuff for your house? Then do the dailies. They take eight seconds. Eight. Okay, maybe like a three minutes tops. Again, none of it's required. I am currently doing dailies for a faction that is from the previous expansion and I don't miss them now. I want to see how the story ends. I want to see the rewards I unlock because I'm enjoying it so much. It's not different today than it would be a year ago, two years ago, five. Also, the game director, Yoshi P, we all know Yoshi P, encourages you to play other games. He wants you to experience other experiences. He wants you to see other worlds, other situations, other... Listen, maybe you like shooters because you had a bad day at work and you just want to unwind before supper. Cool. Go play it. Maybe you want big RPG stories. Like, that. that's me. I like that very much. Go ahead. Get engrossed in those worlds. 
it is healthy to play other games and enjoy other things. And when you're ready, you'll come back. And I have faith that you'll come back. And I did. I played Final Fantasy VII Remake, which, that's so good. If you are a Final Fantasy fan, this is a must play. I played Stray, the kitty game, which, adorable. I played Dragon Quest XI at the beginning. I played Octopath Traveler. These are games that I've had on my list forever, and I'm playing them. I'm even playing Pokemon Sword. I'm re-falling in love with gaming and my time for gaming, and it's fantastic. It's also given me the opportunity to log off on some days and you know what, try something new, maybe a new hobby. I've been reading more. I've been trying to learn how to cosplay and like sewing and stuff like that. All of it is more expanding to me by playing more games and doing more things and allowing myself to do that, to not be stuck to the chair because I have chores, Saturdays for farming, sorry. Honestly, this different approach to gaming really helped me. And it's something that I wish the developers of games like Warcraft would really take a lesson from. Let's give an example that's not an MMORPG. Skyrim. Skyrim is a game we love. I have repurchased this fucker so many times. So many times. I have it for my kids' consoles. I have had it for each console as they've come out of style. I have it for PC. Legendary Edition. Listen, we've put money into this game. And we keep coming back. Why? Because it, it's fun. It's not because we have to come back every day to play it. It's because we want to when we're ready. And that's the difference. So the lesson here is trust that your game is good enough to want to come back to you versus finding ways to make you feel forced to do it on the daily. So what are your guys' thoughts on this? I know it's a very different topic, different situation. I figured it's an interesting thing because I've been thinking about it quite a bit. Let me know either way in the comment section down below. Speaking of adventures in gaming, if y'all want to see mine, listen, I stream all the time. I stream here on YouTube, Final Fantasy XIV. I stream other stuff on Twitch. We go ham. Definitely go ham. But in the meantime, have a legendary day. Thanks so much for being here, and I can't wait to see you guys again on the next one. Bye. If we could only teach Yoshi P the same lesson about taking breaks, because bitch, I don't think the man sleeps. I don't think, I think he's a robot at this point. You can't convince me Yoshi P is not a mammoth. I have discovered his secret.